Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're going to be getting into another LV what not to buy and what to buy video. Luckily today we're on the what you guys should be buying side of things. Today we're talking small leather goods and wallets you should be buying from Louis Vuitton. But before we get into the video guys, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Show your girl some love. You guys can also find me over on Instagram at Maison Molly. I would love to connect with you there. We do a little bit of coffee content, a little bit of LV content, and if that's something you're interested in, you can find me right here. Let's talk Louis Vuitton small leather goods and wallets you need to have. So guys, welcome back to another Maison Molly video. It's my pleasure to have you here with me. I've been having such a great fun time doing this series for you guys and answering all of your questions. It's really important to me to be sharing information and content with you that you guys can use for your purchases. Um, it's really nice to see you guys in the comments down below letting me know you'll be getting this back because of my advice or maybe not getting this one because of my advice and really and truly that is why I'm here. So I know last time we talked about small leather goods and wallets that you guys should not be purchasing and so of course today I wanted to talk about small leather goods and wallets I think that you should buy uh, without further ado we're just gonna hop right on into it first up the Sarah wallet you guys probably saw that coming I really do love the Sarah wallet. I think it's kind of like Louis Vuitton's holy grail of wallets. Um, it's a great piece. It has 16 card slots, change purse, a nice metal snap button, um, brass hardware pieces throughout the wallet, a nice pocket on the back. So just a really good holy grail everyday wallet style. Um, if I had to choose finish for Sarah wallet, I definitely would choose monogram. You guys know I'm not a monogram girl at all, but for some reason the Sarah wallet really speaks to me in monogram. I found it to be durable. I I can't tell you guys the time that I've probably even taken in a monogram Sarah wallet for repair. They're just really that good. I actually think that they wear better than the leather options like on Pronta. So for this one, I'm definitely choosing Sarah wallet in monogram. Second on my list is going to be also a holy grail, the Zippy Wallet. Everybody loves a really good Zippy Wallet. Um, Louis Vuitton loves the Zippy Wallet. Whenever they launch a limited edition collection or a new collection, typically it will always come in Zippy. For the Zippy Wallet, I really don't have a preference. Again, it's just one of those pieces that wears beautifully over time. Um, if you want to purchase it in traditional monogram or damier, I would strongly suggest that. I do like it in the emprunt leather just because uh, the leather is a little bit softer, so it has a little bit more give, so you can actually stuff it a little bit more than the canvas options. With the leather option, it just opens out into a bigger accordion style than the canvas options do. But either way you decide to go, I think that the Zippy wallet, it's an excellent choice. Third on my list is going to be the Recto Verso. I don't know if you guys have seen my video when the Recto Verso originally launched. If you haven't, I'll link it right here for you, but I think it's a really cool piece. Uh, the Recto Verso retails in canvas for $590, and I think that's a really fair price for all that this card holder offers. So for starters, you have card slots on the back, it has a snap compartment for your change, you can fold some bills up in there, and then it also comes with a keychain, kind of like the poche clay, that you can use for your keys. So it really is a small leather good that is all encompassing that you can use for everything and you can use every day of course you guys know at this point the recto verso it comes in monogram it comes in damier a bin it also comes in on prompt leather and i'm kind of here for it all i do think that it's a little bit overpriced in on prompt leather it's like 700 and something dollars i think that the price in monogram it's a really good sweet spot that you don't feel like you're spending too much for what you're getting Next on my list for great wallets and small leather goods from Louis Vuitton is going to be the Victorine wallet. 
I like the Victorine wallet. I wanted to have a small compact style wallet for you guys on this list and I can't think of a better one than the Victorine. Of course, in my what not to buy small leather goods video, I did say I do not like the Victorine in the canvases just because most of them do come with that leather button that doesn't wear well over time, but I do strongly love the Victorine in the emprunt leather. I even enjoy it in epi leather. I think that the Victorine in Emprunt Leather, it's a really classy kind of wallet, you know? It comes in the Noir, the Rouge, uh, what is it called? Rouge, Cha, I quit Louis Vuitton three months ago and I can't remember the colors. Marine Rouge, so the Victorine wallet also comes in Marine Rouge, it comes in red, a bunch of other colors over time. And honestly, it's just a really nice classic style. I like the way that the wallet opens up. so. It opens up where you can accommodate uh, cash in there. There's about six card slots, a change purse, truly just everything that you would need. The Emprunt Leather does wear nicely on the Victorine wallet and I think that it's a piece you can definitely enjoy for a long time to come. Following the Victorine is another LV classic, the Zippy Coin Purse. I absolutely adore the Zippy Coin purse and I particularly like it in the monogram canvas. So of course it comes in lots of prints and designs, but there's nothing like the monogram canvas. I think that it's such a classic. I love it that it has the metal pull. I like the compact style. I like it that you can fit quite a few cards and also cash in it. If you're looking for a small wallet that is really compact but not too expensive, I think that the Zippy Coin purse will be an excellent choice. It currently retails, let me look and see, for $480. You can also get it in a leather version for $680. So honestly, I think a win-win. I did want to include some small leather goods on this list for you guys that you can wear as a bag. And so the first one I'm going to suggest is the Felici. I think that the Felici overall, it's just a great style and it's great value. So the Felici does actually fall on their small leather goods for Louis Vuitton. This is because it does come with the two inner pouches. So you'll have a pouch for your credit cards or cash and then another pouch for change. This piece also comes with the actual bag. It comes with a chain, and so you can wear it crossbody or you can wear it as a shoulder bag. The Pochette Felici currently comes in monogram canvas, Damier Bin, Damier Azur. You can find it in the Emprunt Leather, the Epi Leather, Vernie, limited edition collections. Honestly, it's just been a really big hit for Louis Vuitton. One of the reasons I like the Felici most though, it is the price point. It currently retails for $1,170 in canvas and $1,370 in the Emprunt leather. So to be able to get a wallet of chain sorts for under $1,500, I would say a definite win. Last but not least, I'm gonna suggest the Vavin wallet on the chain. Yes, the Vavin. I love the Vivin. Actually, it was one of my favorite bags to sell at Louis Vuitton, the full size um, purse version, but I did want to suggest the wallet on a chain option for you if you're looking for a small leather good. Now, I love this piece because it does have the credit card slots built in. It has really beautiful hardware, gold hardware detail. It has the emprunt um, leather embossed into it. So ideally, I just think that it is a great piece. I do also think that the price point is really friendly, coming in at $1,870. That's under $2,000 for a really nice classic wallet on a chain. Of course, you know, competitors like Chanel, the wallet on a chain is like ridiculously priced at this point. The Vivin wallet on a chain, it's also big enough to hold your essentials. So if you needed to get a phone in there, maybe a small hand sanitizer, just the little things, you would be able to get all of your essentials into your bag. Thank you guys for taking the time to go through my favorite Louis Vuitton small leather goods. Not only are these pieces my favorite, but I truly think that they are the pieces that are gonna stand the test of time. Honestly, already five of them have. You've got the Sarah, the Zippy wallet, the Zippy coin purse. These are pieces that have been around probably for the last 20 years or so, and I see them being around for the next 20 or more. If you're looking for classic pieces that are never gonna go out of style, trust me, you're gonna wanna get the ones I suggested in this video. Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know, do you have any of these pieces already? Do you love them? Do you not like them? How are they wearing? I wanna know. 
Also guys, don't forget to drop it in the comments down below and let me know what you would like to see for future videos in this series. Think of it as a Louis Vuitton ex-employee tell-all. As always guys, thank you for hanging with me on Maison Molly and I'll see you guys next time.